There's a lot of exciting things happening in the city of Starkville and joining us live to discuss some of those items is Mayor Lynn Sproul. How are you doing this afternoon, Madam Mayor? I am doing great. Thank you so much. It's a it's a great day to be, be in Starkville. <laughs> I'm sure it is. So why don't we, we're going to go over a couple of things. First off, I wanted to know how is the new rental housing code going so far? Well, it hasn't really taken effect in the sense that we have given those who have rental property a number of days. You know, we pass an ordinance, and an ordinance has 30 days to be enacted, and then after that, the uh, apartment owners or property owners have 60 days to come into compliance, which is basically to give us, the city of Starkville, a list of the uh, not the tenants, but just a list of the properties so that we'll have a database for that. And so I know I'm a property owner, so um, I got mine together and handed them to the city within a couple of days. We've had a number of other folks who have also provided their information for our registration database. So it's moving along, but there's still there's still time left. That is good to hear. So tell us another deadline that is looming, and that is for the signage project for businesses. Um, this is something that was enacted about 10 years ago, but because of the pandemic, you extended that deadline. Um, tell us why it's important for businesses to change out the signage. Well, it was it was 11 years ago, in essence, and one of the things that was important to us is that uh, as, as Startwell has grown we have ha had a huge number of signs that were pole signs very tall pole signs that were um, not contributing to the attractiveness of our landscape and so in our streetscape so uh 10 years ago 11 years ago the board determined to require all signage going forward to be monument signs and then it gave 10 years at the time for the current signage to be amortized and it's a business expense i mean those pole signs are not inexpensive so they felt like 10 years was a fair number or uh, fair time for them to amortize those signs and then when pan the pandemic hit they extended it another year with that thought being that it was not a good time to implement it at that point in time but now the time has come. It's May the 5th is the deadline. And if the signs have not come down, then we will be um, sending out letters telling them they have 30 days. And if the, at the end of that 30 days, the sign has not come down, then we will be issuing uh, a summons to come to court. Um, and I have one of those as well. And I, in fact, I took it down last Friday. So I had had a sign up that said, you know, this sign's got to come down by May the 5th. And so I went ahead and took it down on Friday. So um, it, it cleans up the landscape. It allows things to be more on a scale that is not a 55 mile an hour or 65 mile an hour scale uh, throughout our residential community and our, and our business community, which has the lower speeds of 35 miles an hour, for example. So things that are very readable with you know stop signs. So we're not trying to keep businesses from being able to um, display their business and advertise their business, but it is on a scale that is much more user friendly. And if you can, Madam Mayor, because we are running out of time, discuss quickly how uh, the city of Starkville is looking at parking within the city limits, trying to change, I guess, the language of the ordinance. Am I correct? Yes, you're correct. We have recently implemented Park Mobile, which is an app, a pay by app. You use your phone. And uh, we've got that in the Cotton District. It, it mirrors what's going on on campus. So this is sort of geared toward the student population as much as anything in terms of ease of use. Um, but we're needing to make sure that our current sign or, or our, I'm sorry, our current parking ordinance uh, includes that concept in it, as well as it, our last parking ordinance was in 1993, I believe it was. So it is well outdated and we just need to address some of those changes that have happened over the years. Um, so that we can uh, better serve our customers and our consumers and our, our residents and make it understandable and uh, easy for the uh, enforcement aspect of it. Well, Madam Mayor, you have a lot of exciting things happening in Starkville, and thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you so much for letting me talk about my favorite subject. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much there. Police make another arrest in a 